start our show again, and we're doing the speed drills. This is uh, welcome back. We did this initially yesterday, but we kind of ran out of footage. But we have a professional MMA fighter, and this brother's the real deal. And uh, he's going to show us how we can also break uh, a world record, a Guinness Book of World Record, forty-three point three uh, miles per hour, set by John Azuna. And uh, he will check that out. All right, so. Do you mind take on probably how to throw a, a fast punch or when you say a fast jab? Or say it's not about full extension, it has to be a quick and short jab where you're not giving on while you're kind of going short intervals. So you give another demonstration, you're going quick instead of going like that, where it's taking more time, where it's just a quick punch, but sort of like you're giving one of them instead of like that. The difference is you're giving more full extension, kicking off. So if you're short, even quick punching, right? It's real quick, so it's not about running power, it's about speed. So it's a punch to get somebody back up versus the jab that you may want to jab in the wind. This one, like this, get up on back. So that's the difference of going with speed punch. Oh, we're gonna try. You know what? I'm gonna illustrate that as well. You know, Mike Tyson once said that when he would use the bag, he would use it to where the inertia of it would come back and then he would wait for it to hit and then he would uh, come back and he'll hit it and he wanted the bag to not move. So we're going to try it today to do punches that are so fast that the bag is not going to really even move as much as we're trying to straight. Okay, now it's moving a little bit more than we would like, but still we're trying to get over 43 mile power punches. If we're punching that fast, believe it or not, the velocity of it, the speed and distance of it will actually cut the bag because you're cutting rear resistance and you're also generating something called torque combined with thrust. And uh, that's how we do that. We're going to keep doing that. We're saying you do about 50 of them one hand and I'll do about 50 of them one hand. Okay. Into it, it becomes actually the RL fighter where you get into a rhythm. So if you notice, my punches got faster towards the end because the rhythm was forming. Right. So we generate that rhythm and you got that sequence going into momentum. That's what I'm talking about. And after this, uh, since I'm not a professional, I'm going to ask the professional to see if I'm really fast enough, if you guys don't believe me. Uh, and I just met this gentleman, so we got somebody that I tried to pay to do this. We're doing this all in real time. You see, I'm actually fast enough to break up John Lewis on his record. Ready? Yeah. See what I'm saying? I picked up the face towards the end. Yeah. Yeah, because you got that rhythm. You got that rhythm. I saw that at the wild, you thought it was right there. I did. Yep. And that's, that's pretty much. I would think that it would be a great way to break that record where you, you sit on one spot and you let your mind and eyes go in on one spot and boom, boom. You know, it's, it's, it's all about mind connecting with the body and eyes. It's a three part thing. Mind, mind, body, eyes. Mind, body, eyes. This is all one thing, so it's targeting. So the only thing that I think we need about it is that, uh, Spadometer. Now, you we know we're going to get that spadometer soon. Uh, we're thinking about in about a month that spadometer, we're going to get that so we can gauge the right there, right there, and uh, there'll be no excuses. So, all right. And now we try and try with the left hand, the same technique. And I didn't do exactly do 50, so I kind of cheated. So I might have to go back and uh, do that with the left and I'll start around.
Okay. And see the difference with that one, it was slower because uh -huh. you you want you didn't you didn't use leverage of your body. Right. You had your you had your left foot out, which was counterproductive of your motion of your left, but it should have been the other way. So you threw a punch, you had more power right here. Go into the fast and doing like this, so you do more so you know try to regain your balance. Uh -huh. That's why it's a little bit slower. So yeah. you, you because it, it, this this is your whole point of basis. It's there. You know, so usually that's why the middle fighters, when they, you know, with their right hand, they all don't need with their right foot because it gives them leverage. And then also, it gives you leverage with the left foot. Because now, you're leaning toward this back leg right here is actually thrusting your punch. Like you see my, my back heel, my left is coming up. So I can give you a quick demonstration of the back. Because that's what, like I said, that's where all your power is from, your whole 
Right. Absolutely. Okay. Now, I did cut a little bit because we're going at a decent speed. Uh, usually before yesterday, it was not blood. I believe now I cut it on the wrong axis of when I was punching towards the top. Uh, at a decent speed, I believe at 40 some miles an hour. But what well, I illustrate this time to show this is the difference between blood and what was on uh, actually on my fist from the actual bag from the ski. What we're going to try is I can do what we said. Okay. Now that was a little slower because we're, you know, we've been doing this for a while and we're going at a pretty decent speed. So let's try that again. Okay, uh, and now I'm going to illustrate more of a hook jab combination. Okay, and on that, we're going to uh, leave it alone again. This is Jamal. Nice to see you. Absolutely. Uh, thanks for attending our show.